Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Whew, man, do we have a lot going on. So, since the last episode, I got the plastic maker up and running, finally. So there's our polymer press, and we got the pump submerged in here. I, I've just left it on, and then they basically are automatically uh, emptying the nectar that we collect from the bonbon bon tree into there. I also have worked a little bit on this i got some ice temp shift plates down in here the next step is to dump a lot of water in there i think i will probably also do i want to pump out the carbon dioxide i probably need to pump out the carbon dioxide right so i think i actually need this all to be a tile higher and that's unfortunate um we'll deconstruct these guys yeah, because I think I want to have a gas pump up here somewhere. And then I'm also going to need more steel. I'm currently working on making some iron. One one way I found to cool off this room in between uh, the last episode and this one is I just make ice tiles. I've used those ice temp shift plates before. I just made some ice temp shift plates. They immediately melted and then dropped a ton, you know, 800 kilograms of cold material into here. So that, I think, is a better method than what we were doing with this. Um, this is still functioning, but it's starting to warm up, so I really... I mean, if I wanted to, I could continue to try to get all this cold out, but I think we're just working towards the aqua tuner setup. And then the other thing I did is I explored a bit more up, and I found out there's more bonbon trees, and there's a lot of mercury. Um, I don't really know what we can do with it, but... It has crazy good thermal conductivity, so I'm wondering if there's something we can do with, with uh, mercury here. And then that snow is going to fall all the way down when we mine into it, but that's okay. So yeah, um, we're working on all this stuff. I thought I turned off harvesting of the- oh, did those auto harvest? I guess they automatically harvest themselves after some amount of time. And this ice is beginning to melt. The ice caps are melting. <laughs> uh, so let's put a roof on all this so we don't get swamped. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, good. This is still fine. Yeah, I also found out steel makes it hotter uh, than, than iron. I had forgotten about that. I... I I think that's what's been causing some of those bursts, is I had configured this to work when we do an iron smelt, so I turned this back down to like 2200 grams, and I think that's helping a bit. Uh, now what? Entombed? Oh. Well. Trapped. Uh-oh. Edison, what did you do to yourself? There you go. Nope, you're still trapped. You keep, you keep doing it. You're still trapped. Goodness. All right, finally. Um, so what I'm doing over here is getting a liquid pump to be able to pump water into the geothermal heat pump, which I think will allow us to get some free power as well. If we can configure it all correctly. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, also, can I make aluminum? Yeah. But I'll need to sweep. Hopper also has overheat temperature. That's what I was remembering. Okay. Yeah, so that actually would be really helpful if we could make the aqua tuner out of copper. It's a lot of copper to make, um, so I might not do that yet. Because this 125 degrees is going to be problematic. In fact, I know that's going to be problematic. Yeah, that's literally not going to work, now that I think about it. Because the steam has to be 125 degrees before the steam turbine even starts working. So... I just literally have to... I either have to use steel or copper, and at this point I might as well work towards steel. I have a lot of lime, refined carbon, I can make a little bit more of that. So let's make like two more. 
Also, this thing makes a crap ton of heat when it's running, which is scary. New printables are available. Yeah, why not? I'll take some water. Um, what else is going on these days? Oh, I found another geyser. There's a cool, there's a cool salt slush geyser up here. So that's another way to delete heat, or I should say, create cold. Um, so that's a thing. And also free salt for what it's worth. Yeah, brine ice is a thing. So it's kind of filled up this area with brine ice a little bit. Um, can I make anything out of mercury? And what temperature does mercury melt at? Because that could be problematic. Melts at 40. So we almost don't want that in the base because it'll start melting everywhere. Surely I can't make, like... Oh, that's steel. Okay, that I was like, is that mercury? <laughs> no. No, it's not. Um, you can make a gas shut off out of mercury. That feels like a weird idea. Can you make a temp shift plate out of mercury? Um, utilities, temp shift plate. It looks like you can... Interesting. So we could make temp shift plates somewhere and then the mercury would melt into a liquid. And it would stay liquid until, uh, what's the button, that button. It would stay liquid until 358 degrees. So mercury can get very hot, but we already looked into it. It's thermal, its specific heat capacity is so small. It, it can't easily carry very, very much heat. So it's not good as like a refinery coolant is basically what I'm getting at. <laughs> really, Glim, right there? That's where you're gonna sleep? Oh, is Glim stuck? Glim is stuck. These aren't built. Oh, that's the problem. Yikes. Those need to get done ASAP, actually. There we go. It's a little better, so now I can make... Oh, but this is gonna need a higher overheat temperature, too. So steel... Should work. I do only need 50 steel for this, thankfully. Although... Hmm. How big? Yeah, so that's, that's pretty big. Um, I can make this out of mercury. The whole thing would melt. Oh, it literally just changed on me, because I... I'm using up the iron to make steel. Um, I need to make more iron, so... I'm gonna use that thing, too. Now, how did water get here? That's worrisome. Oh, it's just this ice melting. I think what's happening is those are freezing over time and then they turn back into ice when they freeze and then when it warms up it melts again. I think that just keeps happening in a cycle. Because there's no storage available for water. Which we need to put that water over here anyway. So copy... Um... I also feel like I'm forgetting about a million things that we're gonna need. Because doesn't this... Does the steam turbine emit 
uh, water that we have to then send back in. I forget how that works. Steam turbine. Um, it doesn't say. Must expel liquid through a liquid pipe system. Okay, so it does spit water back out. Yeah, and these temp shift plates are there so that we can um, get a bunch of water in here. And then I will also need regular temp shift plates of some material. Let's say... Cinnabar? So that'll get steam going pretty easily. Maybe just these two. Or those four in the middle. Okay. And now I need a system. Oh, goodness. This is also complicated. Um, mind that. Let's make a little surface over here. Oh, of course. Over here. Um... Power, conductive wire. And we wanted a smart battery. Like that. And then we needed a transformer. Wait, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Can't put the battery there. This is where, uh, whatchamacallit needs to go. <laughs> this is where the steam engine needs to go. Steam engine go with there, um, and then... So I can run the wire across. Can't connect it there. I need a conductive wire bridge. Okay, there we go. Now we can do a transformer um, like this and a battery there. Rotate. Oh, these don't rotate? Bummer. To spend an extra wire because of that. And then the heavy watt connect to the transformer. Okay, there we go. Building melted? Oh no! Just kidding, it's exactly what we want. Though, so how did that happen? How are we already... Oh, I put in the cinnabar temp shift plates and those are fairly warm, I guess. So that's cooling off the ice temp shift, or warming up the ice temp shift plates. Okay. All right, and now I want to start thinking about the system we're going to put over here to divert... Um, I'm going to deconstruct that pipe. Uh, we want to divert ethanol, if it's too warm, over here. And then it needs to go back and mix into here. So it's almost like I need... Uh, how do I do this? Actually, no, I need to divert the stuff coming out or uh, about to go in to go get cooled off before it goes in if the stuff coming out is too warm. That's how we can make it so there's not these giant temperature swings because that'll cool it off by 14 degrees. And so we want this stuff to get cooled off and then it'll average out with the stuff in here and that'll work out much nicer. The problem is this doesn't divert easily with what the piping we've already got. So we're going to have to change the plumbing here. Um, we're going to deconstruct that. I'm going to have to plumb down 
and over. And then we'll have a liquid shutoff based on automation uh, liquid pipe thermo sensor. Right there. And I'll do a liquid shutoff like that. And that'll pull stuff out um, if it's a certain temperature. And then this will just go back in. Uh, no, sorry, I built that in the wrong spot. So what do I need to do? I need to build a pipe that goes over there. There we go. And otherwise, it'll just come back in here. And that'll be a radiant pipe there. Okay, plumbing-wise... Um, the return, Let's see the input is there, the return is here. Um, I just realized we're going to need, it could go backwards. If we're not careful. So maybe we need a bridge here and that'll force it to do the right thing. That should do it. And all of that is reachable, right? I think that's all reachable builds. Automation wire. Yep, that's okay that that melted. Mm-hmm. I accept. Still got a lot of building to do. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's supposed to melt. It's okay. It's okay. Now the question is, do I have enough steel yet? Because I'd like to make... First of all, I'd like to make my gas pump out of steel. And then, once I've built that there, can that still be built overlapping? I think so. I don't think it'll block the ports. Not actually sure. Definitely would never make that out of mercury, though. So we should be able to get that built. And then... How's this side of the world doing? Um, we've got lots of wood. We're almost at 20,000 wood again. Because I haven't really been using it for much. Oh. I think this was me testing. Whoops. I wonder how, uh, how much have we, uh, delayed our dupes by putting that there? <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad. I'd like to prioritize this stuff just because um, I want to get it looping properly again. And then, for now, we'll say send a green signal if it's above 100, but we'll change that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed to get this looping again. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Oh, this warmed up again. Um, I'm not ready for this. To be adding heat, because then that'll make all my pike apples stop growing again. Let's not do that quite yet. Yeah, that brought it up to negative 10. Jeez. The problem is these aqua tuners are so expensive. Um, check this out. It's 1,200 steel that I will need. Uh, it's so much. I guess I could do copper, and then the overheat temperature would be 175, but even that, it's just not, not quite there. We really need that to be made out of steel. Um, 
So we're just gonna have to keep making steel here. Wait, what's up with the refined carbon? What's going on here? Waiting for materials. There's nobody... Nobody seems to find that important. There we go. Lojo's doing it. Lojo knows what's up. Yay! We built it! Will it be running? Still not for a while. But, we built it. Okay, now this is here just in order to pump out um, gas when we want to. So we'll just throw a switch on there like that. And then this guy has a plumbing connection output, which I probably should just Dump the water right back in, right? I see no reason not to do that. Oh, those should be insulated, though. For sure. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. You have to cancel it. Then we do insulated pipes. Dump it back in. And it'll dump in as water. And then it'll get hot again, turn back to steam, and we've got the perfect cycle. And I think one layer of water is good, because steam is far more, you know, pressurized. So a, a little bit of water makes a lot of steam. I don't think I need more than one layer here. And that ice is warming up, so that should turn to water pretty soon. I think. Okay. 0.66 watts, that's how many watts a uh, battery draws just for the constant drain. So that makes sense. Now the power for this is interesting. How do I want to do that? I'm not sure yet. Um, connect that to power. And connect ventilation to... I, it really doesn't matter. That's just for pumping out whatever we end up with in here. And then this needs to become an airlock. Ooh, okay, so I finally hooked up water to this. <gasps> it's working. Um, manual generator disabled. So now I can activate it? Oh my gosh, should I do it? Why not? Oh, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this bad boy. We are we are so activating this. Um Oh, wow, we get a whole thing. Oh god. What is it shooting? Rock? So, it's spreading hot water everywhere. And steam. Okay. Uh, can I deactivate you? I want you to stop. There's no way for it to stop. Um... I guess it's gonna stop when the water stops. That's fine. Okay, so it fills up with 12 tons of water and then it outputs it all. So there's no way, unless I deconnect it, maybe it'll stop. We just created a lot of heat down here. I guess it was already warm here, 37 degrees. But uh, even compared to that, <laughs> we created a lot of heat. That's fine, I don't need the cold from down here. But, uh, that's funny. Alright, 
Uh, now I need to build a door here. Mechanized airlock. Will that bottle emptier be okay sitting? I don't need a bottle emptier here anymore. I can deconstruct that anyway. But let's wait and see, just because I'm curious if a, an airlock can count as a tile. It probably doesn't. I'm gonna say no. It does! Interesting. It just doesn't when it's open. Now there's a way... There's a way to disable buildings that I hadn't considered. You can put it put it on, on an airlock and then you can open or close the airlock at will. Interesting. Okay. Now... There's only ice in here, so once I can build my aqua tuner, we will be ready. We'll freaking be ready. Um. I'll have to do automation with the steam turbine to add juice into stuff. We'll figure that out later. For now, how much do I have? Steel, that is. 500? So I still need seven more. Um, and I'm missing... Again, the refined carbon. What? Wait, what? I don't know. I'll make two more, I guess. Seems like I don't have enough. Lime, we do have enough, thankfully. The iron, I do not. Let's make a bunch of iron here. That would be 500 kilograms. Let's just make a ton of iron. Quite literally. I know we're wasting some iron ore, but... Look, we've got plenty of iron ore if I want to go looking for it. I mean, look, there's another few tons right here. A shine nymph. Sure. What do they eat? They eat bristleberries and gristleberries and phosphorite. Well. I feel like the real trick would be to get a bunch of shine bugs going with a bunch of bonbon trees. That just is a lot of work. So it's calling the bonbon tree a tiny baby? Oh no, that was the shine bug. <laughs> that made more sense. Uh, where's this water coming from? No, it burst. Steel got too hot because everything in here is 40 degrees because it's not cooled off enough because my aqua tuner is not running. Shoot. Crap. Crap on a cracker. Okay, um... Well... I'm gonna add some more cold into here. I'm gonna mop that up. Of course, that's gonna mess this stuff up. Ugh, and then that happens. I don't know what the heck's up with that. It's like the water here is constantly it's freezing and turning to ice. I don't know. Yeah, once they make those ice tiles, that should help. Uh, now there's no coolant in here, so I'll have to turn the pump back on, which is annoying. But we'll figure it out. We always do. Of course, our coolant is not cool. Oh, this needs power wire? I completely forgot. I did know that. I just forgot that. Um, that should be fine. And then we can switch it to send stuff to the aqua tuner. For now, I know I just deconstructed it, but I think I need an aqua tuner. We still have six more steel creations to go. I'm gonna make a cinnabar one again, and then we'll, uh, 
Let's rebuild it. But yeah, the temp shift plates are going to bring the temperature down here. 34. All this ice. Once it goes down to like 20. Okay. There we go. I brought it down. It's down to 30. The problem is the amount of water in here is quite high. And eventually it's going to be too much. At least for now, I think this is what we needed. Just enough to get to six more steel craftings. And we're gonna go 1500 grams a second on liquid valve here. We'll start getting some coolant into the metal refinery. food. We have oxygen. I haven't looked at oxygen in a while. Um, gases. Our carbon scrubbing continues to work. Uh, somehow we got brine spilled all here. Probably melted from somewhere. I've just got fluids running everywhere. It's wonderful. Uh, these are not growing, but we have harvested these. So I'm, I'm definitely a little bit under producing right now. Um, we need to turn this off. But everybody's sleeping, so that's unfortunate. And what, whatever ended up happening down here? There's still a lot of steam. That will slowly cool down. Turn back to water. All right. Okay, does that have enough coolant? No, I didn't get enough. Crap. I really needed a way to automate this pump. In fact, can I do that? Um. There we go. Should have done that a long time ago. And then we can turn it on and off as needed. Okay, there we go. Now it's got enough so I can turn this off. Alright, what temp are we feeding back in? 30? 30 is okay. Because it's 80 coming out. Why is this not built? Come on, dupes. Come on, dupes. Do your jobs. There you go. Oh, I guess it's a 1,200 means it has to build for 10 years. Because it's 1,200 kilograms of material. That makes sense. All right. I forgive you. All right. Now, how are we going to do the power on this bad boy? So, we've got... The gas generator is running Hmm. Are we out of gas yet, by the way? Almost. The pump's disabled. So we're we're starting to use up our uh oh crap. We still got twenty cycles left. Twenty-four cycles. Uh, anyway, so that activate... Do I want to use steam before or after natural gas is what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, the natural gas is totally free. But the steam needs to activate at a certain temperature to delete heat. So I kind of just want it to run whenever, honestly. And I might just hook it in to the heavy watt wire. 
I don't know, like, it is, that feels wasteful of power, but I'm mainly using it to delete heat more than anything else. So, in another sense, that actually feels like what we want. And how did this get here? Did someone barf? Oh, jeez. No, 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 lock that, please. Lock that, don't let the barf in. Don't let the barf in. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm curious where that came from. So I should be able to turn this on and it will vacuum out all the CO2. That's the hope, anyway. It's running! Oh, it's not running. Not enough steam. Steam temperature below 125. Generator idle. Okay. But it's hooked up. And so now the aqua tuner should run once I send it stuff in the pipes. So, if the internal temperature is above negative 20 I want you to send stuff to the aqua tuner which it will oh my gosh it's gonna work and then and then the aqua tuner is gonna get real hot there we go and that will slowly raise the temperature in here it'll be a while before it turns to steam and it's using a lot of power unfortunately So it's gonna kind of cycle on and off. But now this ethanol is coming back nice and cold. Oh, I'm I'm a goober. I'm sorry. I sh I was supposed to build the uh, liquid pipe thermo sensor on top of this pipe, not this one. Um, yeah. And then we route that over. Because I want to know what the output temperature is and if it's cold enough. That's right. Doing that wrong. Down to 970 kilograms of hydrogen. Let's see if it lasts. Now that I'm running the aqua tuner, it's very power hungry. Um, let's turn this off for now. Negative 24, nice. So we did a good job cooling that off. So now that should help with cooling off kind of our base area over here. Um, oh, and that's adding more ethanol into the system because that automatically functions when this something, what's the automatic function on that? It's when this is below 500 kilograms full. Okay. Okay, and now I can deconstruct that. So now you go if above negative 20. And then that'll send stuff to the aqua tuner and the internal temperature of this should creep up as the cold stuff mixes with the less cold stuff inside the reservoir. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. And then it'll turn it off. So yeah, there will be some sort of like finicky, finicky stuff going on for a bit here. All right, now I've almost got enough steel finally, and then we'll have to remake this aqua tuner out of steel so it won't. Uh, yeah, the system seems to be working. Oh, this is so nice. We're deleting heat, finally. And we're getting power back, but it, you don't get enough power back. So this does end up costing us energy. 
So the free energy that we're getting from the geyser is important. And again, ironically, that energy is also producing heat. So <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what all the math works out to be, to be honest. It's possible it's a net, a net negative. I tried doing an auto sweeper with ice, but it's constantly running because this is constantly dumping out polluted ice. So until this whole area warms up, which is gonna be a long time, it's just gonna be annoying and they're gonna keep coming and getting ice. I guess maybe my best bet is to do a mechanical airlock here. And just lock it. I think honestly that's what we're gonna do. So that they stop going over there for now. Alright, do I have the steel? I think I have the steel, so I need to unlock this. I'm gonna deconstruct the aqua tuner. Ethanol is nice and cool. Negative 20. We should start to see these plants coming back to life again. I mean, I could make it cooler. I could go to negative 25. Right, let's do negative 24. How many cycles till natural gas? 21. I don't know if we're going to make it. I might need another gas reservoir. Oh, right, I deleted the aqua tuner. So, utilities, aqua tuner, 1200 steel. Hard, hard earned steel. Good gracious. And what we really need to do now is get a fluid, uh, which is going to be nectar, I think. What's nectar's boiling point, though? I think the problem is that it's still too low. Like, I don't, I don't think the, uh, the nectar can go high enough. Um, yeah, 160. I would want something that could go up to like 200 degrees at least, which I think I'm gonna have to get from another planet or animals or something. Because as far as I can tell, maybe there's some in the bottom left corner here, but as far as I can tell, there's no oil on this map. And that's normally what you would use. You would use petroleum. I know there's a thing called super coolant as well, so maybe that I need to make some of that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can use. How do I make super coolant? Super coolant. Yeah, it's amazing. Great heat capacity, great conductivity, huge range. But we need the molecular forge, and I need fullerene and gold Ugh. and petroleum. Okay, well, I guess I'll need petroleum first anyway. So we'll have to go to another planet to get petroleum. It's just so nice because you can get up to 500 degrees. So then you just you just route your petroleum through radiant pipes in here, and you get all your, your energy back and more to run the metal refinery. Super nice. All right, it's running, so I'm gonna lock this. And then we'll pump out the CO2 again. And we should be all set to go for, uh... Basically, you know, recycling our, our energy from the thermo aqua tuner and deleting any heat that gets brought in here. Okay, well that seems like a great spot to end the episode. I think we've done pretty much what we needed to do. So finally we have a cooling loop. 
I might as well set it to negative 30. Be nice and cold. Ethanol freezes at... That's not ethanol. Um, ethanol freezes at negative 100, so I'm fine on that. I might as well cool off things a bit more, make it negative 30. Sweet. Okay, well, I think we'll call it an episode there. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next episode.